What is up guys, Austin Nurcho here, back again playing Jurassic World Evolution, continuing on our gameplay here. So in the last episode, we checked out some of the updates of the update 1.4 or whatever it is for the game, where we got to see some of the new viewing areas and everything, like we can see the monorail driving through here through the park and then we also moved to Isla Sorna which is where we are and I've been kind of working on the maps or the game so from the last time you saw this or from like the last episode this has changed so much I've added so much into it just trying to get this park so I mentioned the last episode my whole goal was to try and keep the park open but then I realized you know with the way the game works of dinosaurs only being able to you know fit in with like certain areas and stuff I guess it wouldn't really work out the way I wanted, so I've just been kind of playing around with some stuff. And so today we are going to, oh, I guess I should do a tour first. So over here is where we saw some of the stuff last time. So we had the hotel, some of these restaurants, and monorail, I think I'd put up the ranger station and like this area. Then I added this over here to get the research station and the fossil center. I did have it, have it closed off, but it's kind of weird to go from like this area over here since you can't connect it to anywhere. And then because of the, uh, uh, whatever you call it, the pylons I put along here, it's going to be hard to get a railing or the fence, but I think it'll be okay. And I went ahead and just fenced off over this area because I don't know exactly. This is what I have to work on with the second area. So it's going to be, you know, part of like the city and this stuff won't be here i just placed it there to be out of the way because i needed more power and then i need more stego so i connected that on there so that'll all be gone but i'll put another like little town and village and stuff over here and then probably along over you know this way so that way the monorail can pick it up too will be where there i put dinosaurs and stuff and then going on working on to this section over here and the spino finally died so of course there was a one of the tasks here to get like six kills with the dinosaur and the stego had already registered five from killing just a bunch of like the i think i don't know if i'm saying the right thing spino is what i meant to say it's been kill it killed off all the stegos that were over here with it so it got five and so need one more so i finally had just did another stego because it was a new dinosaur and pretty cheap and as i was shipping it over there it died right before the stego landed so it was kind of a waste and then i've got pretty much every dinosaur done except for this uh Gigantospinosaurus, which doesn't look like a spino, which is kind of disappointing. But today we are going to be working on the mission, entertainment mission here. So we got to do a Pentaceratops, Kentrosaurus, Metriacanthosaurus, Triceratops, and a Patasaurus. And I know more. some of these need more than what they show here. So we are going to start the mission. Life requires diversity and of course we'll be talked to by Dr. Duo, which I'd like to, hopefully it will reach this thing, because once we do, we'll get um, the number three thing for, uh, by, like, uh, success, success rate. Okay, so those, this will probably be a long, I want to say long game, but long episode. We'll start with hatchlings and see how Here's we Okay, Triceratops. Into a cohesive environment. So we need four Triceratops. So yeah, I probably should have switched the... Recreate nature by fabricating it. Slot thing. Then the dinosaurs are going to know that something's wrong. And that's when the claws come out. I guess we'll just wait and leave that there. Oops, we need resupply. So I have dinos in here, so that's going to cause some issues. But we'll just deal with that as it comes along. Resupply for here. So we have what's left, because this is where I had all the stegos, but they there were way too many because I just picked up all the stegos that were left, you know, that were in that area from the start and over here. Shipped them over there, and then there were too many. So um, had some issues, then I wanted to put, you know, other stuff to try and get ratings up and everything. So I did a Diplo because it's such a big area. And then I have these Arctheornithomimuses, which for some reason it's not picking up. Yeah, there's one. Because they have the highest rating out of those little dinos. And then it became overcrowded, so I had to move some the Stegos over here and everything. And I do need... Let's go ahead and try and get to... Because all my Stegos are starting to die, so I'm trying to restock them because they were just obviously the starting out spinos and everything so I think okay this is going pretty fast here 
So I'll do this and then I'll probably just uh, do what I did. And I think it was on Isla Pena where I had to do, you know, release a whole bunch of dinosaurs. Every time I get all the last dinosaurs of each one released, I'll bring it back just to show the update and everything. So there we got two tracks going. So they, they should be pretty easy and happy in this thing. Because, yeah, we have to ensure they're all housed together there. So I got a trike. see what kind of they have a pretty big population and the Arctheormimus should be fine some of these dinosaurs may have some issues though let's go ahead and start getting more trikes done up in here there we go did we unlock something new I thought it showed that we got a new dino or something. I know we have that. But in here... Oh, it's just the last dino. I thought it showed that we had like unlocked them. So we only have three dinos left to unlock, which is pretty cool. Um, and I don't know. I need to look because so I'm new to all these things. So I don't know, I know Matria is fine by itself, but we'll release that second to last because these Pentaceratopses are pretty painful. Oh yeah, I got forgot they like to break out. So we're gonna try to put in some fences around here. So we're just going to do kind of like this, attach it onto here. Ah, I can't see. This yellow is super annoying. Onto there, go onto each side. Dead dinosaur, probably another stego. Because those things just keep dying. Stop, stop, stop. I wish this would stop snapping on there. Getting this all built up now. Sure, we'll just leave it. I guess we'll just start doing this. Um, this should be fine over here, I would probably think at least. Oh yeah, we got this little area over here. Oh my god, look how crazy this thing is snapping. Okay, that should be pretty good. And then we've got two more tracks for this. There we go. Okay, let's get rid of this dead dinosaur too, by the way. En route to pick up the asset. Let's see, is that thing done? Oh, it failed. I guess I missed the message. That's the problem. These things keep failing. But I just keep trying. That's why I want to get this new success rate thing. Forgot to shut the door, I guess. Nope, not the stego, the door. Stego door. Close gate. Hopefully they don't lose stuff. So I don't know how many I need. So we should have all of the trikes now. So there we go. Got all the trikes. Let's go on to the Apatosauruses maybe. I don't know how many they need. Where are they? Oh yeah, at the top probably. Apatosauruses. Okay, that was impressive. So 
so you need three so yeah i'm just gonna leave them at 100 percent because i'll probably do there we go there's our success rate actually let's go ahead and switch this up then there it goes yeah failed oh we got our next our next mission unlocked too the entertainment mission not right now failed let's go ahead and increase these now to three and now let's try the stego see how it goes so it's got 90 percent viability oh did we lose another one they keep dying like crazy. Acknowledging asset collection request. Let's go ahead and do another Stego. Because they're dying pretty quick now. Of course, these are all the ones that started out. Um, so did we get this thing going here? Okay, Apatosaurus. Let's modify the genome a little bit. We will go with probably this color. I don't know what it's going to look like, but it may be pretty cool. So 140... I just always do lifespan because I want these things to live as long as possible. 167. I don't know if they've readjusted because a lot of these are always towards the top, like are the best ones. So 80, 188. I'm just going to try and you know, get it as high as I can. And this one will probably take a while, so I'll probably break away after this one. After I get these set up here. So just finishing getting it as long as possible to 63. I love apatosauruses and all sorts of like the long neck dinos. They're always my favorites. 290. And we have 12% plus the 90. Or I guess we're at 60 right now because I forgot about the... Um, we'll, actually we'll go ahead and take some of these down. Like these end ones. Just to increase our viability. There you go. That's going to be almost 100% there. We'll just do three Apatosauruses. Because you need three for the thing. So I will let those all incubate up. And we will release those. Like I said, I may have to get rid of some of those dinos from the other. What even? I mean, it's almost 100%. Gonna probably drain all my money here. It's already dropping pretty fast. But that one made it at least, so we're doing pretty good there. So I will get all the apatosauruses done. Wrong. Who do they turn to first? Sure, that's pretty easy. Um, so but I'll get the apatosauruses released and everything, bring them back after that. The next we'll probably do the kintros, so I'll have to look at the kintros and everything. So I'll bring it back when it's time for that, so I'll see you then. So the apatosauruses got done, so we can now release them. I think one died, so I had to sit there and wait for it to come back again so we only need two obviously but it needs three four requirements oh look how cool it looks it's one again like i said one of my favorite dinos in raising these animals is to provide an oh look how cool it looks your habitat is too small for them it's too small it's oh maybe she's just saying something i was like it's not too small it fits just right it's just got social needs Ah, oh, it looks so cool. It's so cool looking. That's what it does. It does that noise. Ooh, it kind of floated on the ground there for a second. Now we got to sit and wait for all three of these to release. Oh, what the heck? I was trying to fit something back in here. For some reason, it did the wrong fence. There we go. Because I have that storm defense thing, so I was trying to get a storm station up. See if we can throw one anywhere else up here while we're waiting. Cause yeah, I'm pretty sure we can't fit one anywhere else over here. Cause I would like need one right over in here, but there's nowhere to put it. I've packed everything in too tightly. I don't know. I don't know where to put it. Yep, there's no way to do it. Okay, we have two apatosauruses. 
And here comes the third one. So we already got the Patasaurus checked off. Let's do the Kintros now. See what they need require. I've never done a Kintro before. Of course we have them in Arc. So what do they require? After first incubation. Let's go ahead and mess around with one of these. We'll go with this step one again. So 107. 134. Again, I want to try and get... Of course, I don't know exactly what will live and what will die. Because obviously we're releasing a carnivore. So I assume something's going to die. So we'll just go ahead and do everything we need to. 209. And then we'll just leave it there because of, yeah, the 60. Does it say now? Oh, but it says we need three. So at least go ahead and do the three. I assume it probably needs like four or something. Okay, we're all good and happy there with the Apatosaurus. They're all good and ready to go. So we're just releasing stuff. So hopefully once that first one gets done, I can check to see how many Kintros we need. And if we do need more, I'll go ahead and get those added in as well. The additional Kintra sources. So I will see you then. So the Kintros now all got done and they do require three. So it's like perfect amount there of needing three for each of those. So the next thing we will do will be the Matriacanthosaurus, which actually I may go ahead and release it over here and then transfer it over. Yeah, so we'll go with, pretty sure it was Matriacanthosaurus, right? Yeah, one Matriacanthosaurus coming up. So we'll go ahead and put that one in. Yeah, that should be good there. So we'll just do it in there and then trank it and transfer it over into here with the others. And then we'll start working on the pintas in this one. Pinta ceratops and everything. So let's take a look. Actually, I do need to get a picture thing. I can do that. And see my horrible driving here. Ramp right into the realm. <laughs> Too bad the door can't open sooner. Ooh, there's a Kintra there. I want the yeah, Apatosaurus is over here. Hopefully that's worth... Yeah, look how much. 46. Whoa, that's so cool getting. Of course, We're that picture these too. Photos, right? these are for sale. Get a little picture here of this with the graph thing. Or with the picture taker thing. So we got some talking dinos here. That's impressive work. There, I just took a picture of that. That's pretty cool. Over the wheel. Oh, they're all. No, oh, we got a transmission. What do we unlock? Oh, the security. So we now have all three missions. Top -down review of our oh, look at that one. And I'd like Not you. right now, please. So I think that means we've. Yes, we have unlocked the hill, all the three hill, huh? missions there. So I have to get to work on those. What else do we need to unlock? I hate how they're starting over like that. So we have the Allosaurus, which would be our last dinosaur. And then, well, uh, the things. Then we have Indoraptor that we have to work on. So we need to pretty much be doing just about everything. Let's go ahead and get an entertainment one then. Here's something A Baryonyx. Interesting. I did. Hmm? I'll just go ahead and take it. I don't won't be doing that anytime soon. And I think the Kintras may be released by now. And oh, we're almost done with whatever the Spino thing is there. And working on the Majunga source. Majunga Junga source. Okay, so are the Kintros done now? I assume they are all out and about in the park. Yes, yeah, so one, two, three Kintros. Hopefully they're all happy and healthy. Yeah, they have their social. Everything should be good still. Yes, okay, so now let's go with the Kintros. 
which again I don't know, or Pinta, sorry. We'll go ahead and modify the genome some. We'll go with the wetland pattern. Go with a 96. 123, there we go, complete genome for the Kintro. Which you can't see. And we're getting ever closer to finishing this game, of course, by getting all of the dinos unlocked and everything. So I'll do probably about one more. There we go. That should be close enough. It's a little bit too low, but we'll just go ahead and do it anyways. Oh, shoot. Did I just do the wrong thing? Nope. It's just on something different for some reason. Pentaceratops. And of course we'll have to add and to get another one because I think they need four I believe but of course we won't be able to see. So I will now get that incubated and release. So I will see you then. Okay so I got the Metricanthosaurus released and it's being headed over now. And then we have the Pentaceratops which they do require three so it kind of works out because we were able to fit three and then it only needs two for this mission. So hopefully everything, so there's the material can the source being shipped over and everything will hopefully be working out A-OK -okay. just fine. Let's look at the view from our viewing Ladies platform. We are to there's a Pentaceratops. To the park. Oh, you can see the dinosaur being brought in. Of course, it's going to be landing right there. Oh no, that's the Apatosaurus. Like, wow, I thought the, oh goodness. Camera's going all over the place. Pentaceratops. Yeah, see, it's got way too much population, which is what this whole thing's going to be. So hopefully once they all get... Okay, so we got the two released. Then once this one gets on the ground, this mission will start. And hopefully we can keep everything contained. In the meantime, waiting on this stuff, I did start working over here. So I got three more areas all set up with uh, places and everything. So I got incubation areas and now I can just set up this area with a city and all that so that'll be fun and dandy so there we go all three pentaceratops so there we go so once this drops hopefully everything works so there's a pinta I don't know is that a pinta I oh, know that's a triceratops there's a pinta pinta right there and we all should be good there you go they're all enclosed together so hopefully this will start ensure the dinos house with insecurity ensure all dinos are housed together a good scientist is a good observer okay they are That's click them off want to do now. Observe. And keep okay so five minutes high while minimizing disruption within the community Let's go ahead and do this science, real quick at the beginning here because I think this should Has finish anything off eaten, anything else? And can we yeah I think that means happen? we're finished we there <laughs> okay so let's look so in Patasaurus all the way over there Triceric like I said the Pintas are the issue because they have way too much population so they're all three in the center hopefully these electric fences will help deter them a little and of course we're gonna have fights with the Madria here. Contracts make the world sure, go sounds good. Or here we go. Are we gonna step. start fighting? Either way. Of course they've done the update. Yeah, Majungosaurus. So now all of our dinos except for the Indoraptor, which I don't think you can search for, have all been com oh no, we unlocked the one through this, the whatever the other long neck thing. But yeah, with the new update, this thing won't be fighting as much. So that's kind of a perfect timing on this kind of mission and stuff. So yeah, it's just the Pintas that we have to really worry about in this thing. So it looks like they're all socializing right there. Having a little talk and chat about how they're going to break out of this place. It's like we're going to plan our breakout for right now. Cause they're, it's, is it going for it? Of course they haven't lost enough. 
everything we got three minutes of course as soon as this gets done they're all going bye bye so I don't have to worry about them anymore trying to find their escape route and plan I'm gonna see a fight with the Matria. So the only place they easily can break out is along this area in here. And I don't hear any... No, that's a Triceratops and it's fine. So I have one there, there, and there. So they are, they're all just roaming around under three minutes to go. Just eating right now it looks like at least this one is they look really cool though they're giant like head uh, bear or whatever you call that fan and then the giant horns on it it lo just looks really cool I've never seen those before aside from this game so that's pretty cool so uh, almost at two minutes let's see if we can See so a view from there. So we have two trikes and a pinta. Right there, we got the pinta. Let's go with this view. We're blocked by a barrier, but it's still fine. We got one just right down there. And now this one. If we can click onto it. Where's the Matria? I want to see if it's fighting anything yet. I like the whole zoom in part like this. I wish this had a camera though so you could like take a snapshot of this. Where is the... there it is. And yeah, I don't think it'll fight those. I'm not sure, but I don't think it will. But yeah, just doing all fine. So of course, once its health start, gets to a certain point, then it'll start breaking out and everything. These Kintros look pretty cool too. Just like mini Stegos. Which of course is like what they are in Ark. So like I said, we've seen them before because of Ark. But are we not going to have any issues? Of course, they still have a while to go for their comfort to get down low enough to break out. We may make it all the way through this. Just by the timing of how we did this and everything. We'll just have to get rid of those and then maybe move the Matria over to one of our new areas I obviously want to put something big there maybe a carnivore over here and then so I just did a split here so I can put herbivores on this side and then just you know do whatever I need to so we got a storm company to open up our defenses so this could put a hamper which we have less than 30 seconds say this could put a hampering on the storm depending on what happens during the storm ladies and gentlemen Storm warning. Let's look at a view from here. We don't get a good view. We have to look far away. In response to the adverse weather. So I have had a torn one tornado so far. Oh, there we go. Mission complete. That was easy. All the security missions or science missions unlocked. Mamin. Mamintia source. All I know is it's a long neck. That was my plan. And now we have seen it come to fruition. Okay, so let's just well for me. take out the and pintas. It'll be hard to find them. I thank you for that. Pinta. Doesn't abhor order. It abhors predictability. Routine Pinta. leads to stagnation, which leads to atrophy, which leads to extinction. Until somebody smart enough to know better becomes predictably Where's foolish the other enough Pinta? to do it. Or in this case, I can't find it. Undo it. Try. There it is. And then we'll add the Matria on there well, as well. I'm at a bit of a loss here. You've done it. We've we done it. You can with the science division. I doubt our research will Any tornadoes going on none over I here. It possible that there was someone and of course our big giant open area. To Nothing. To the dinosaurs and their so that was like the perfect storm world. for this. Oh shoot, did I not open the shelf? Oh, sorry, I, I don't know if I hit the wrong thing or not. Go away. Am I getting hit? 
Oh yeah, right there. Sell off all these pintas. I could probably just move them now that I think about it, but oh well. Acknowledging asset collection request. We'll just incubate them in a little bit. Or after a while, once we get everything all set up and working. It's gonna get knocked out. There we go. And sell that asset. one. And of course we'll move the uh, Matria, because it can live by itself. We'll probably put it over in here for right now. Just get it set up over in this area. So we'll go ahead and add some water. If we can get some water. The problem with I flatten all the area out. So getting water asset in places. In I didn't know putting water in would be hard. Or this hard. We'll add some trees. Make it all tree like. Which I don't think they like too many trees, but we'll add a little bit. Hopefully that's big enough for it to even fit in. And we'll add a feeder right in there. Just to get it all set up for now. And I think that's probably going to be... Oh yeah, let's look at our... Go ahead and get that set up for transporting. Right in the there. And let's... Oh yeah, I was like, what am I doing now? Let's look at our new... So we should have a new location. There we go. Mementiosaurus, which is... Is that our only location? Because we have all these we haven't... Like, completely used up or whatever. That must be the only one. Be... Nice to have some new stuff since these are still open. But I guess that's going to be it. So that's it for... Let's take a look. Um, oh yeah, we don't have it. Unlock the Mementiosaurus thing to see what it's supposed to look like and everything. Look at the thing. It's got its tail stuck in. It should be getting electrocuted right now. But it's not. But I think that's going to be it for this episode today. So we got the security mission. Let's take a look here. Sec yes, sorry, science. I keep getting that. It says science mission number five. The scientific community, I guess, is what it's called. And we had to release all those dinos, as you saw, and we released the Mementiosaurus. So that's going to be it for this episode today of Jurassic World Evolution gameplay. So I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to let me know if you did down below in the comments. And leave a thumbs up to also show your enjoyment. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more videos. And help us on our way to 1,000. We're getting closer by the minute, it seems like. So I thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.